Okay, so here we are in part two of the video where we're just create, using layers to design and animate a character. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate each layer um, and how to copy and paste layers just to streamline the process a little bit. We're also going to do a bit of lip syncing. Um, and so in order to do that, uh, we want to add a few more frames. So I'm just gonna go over here up the top right I'm going to go to project settings and I'm going to change my frames per second. I'm going to ramp that up to 20. Okay, so just a bit smoother because when we're adding the speech, we need the mouth to move um, incrementally, pretty, in, you know, pretty specifically. So if the more frames we have, the smoother that is going to look. All right, um, I'm just going to save those changes. So now we've got our three frames sorry, our three layers, we've got the body, the head, and the arm, um, and they're positioned. So I want the arm to be in the foreground and the body to be in the background. And I've recorded my speech. Hello there. Hello there. All right, so now we want to copy and paste these frames so that they cover the speech. Uh, we can copy and paste a number of different ways. If I tap and hold on that frame down the bottom in the timeline, there's a copy icon there, which is the third one along. If I hit that, then it gives me the opportunity to copy to, sorry, paste left or paste right, which are the two icons on either end of that bar. So I'm gonna paste right, all right? So you can see that that's just copied that frame and added it to the right. Um, I could continue to do that if I wanted to, but you could see that that would soon become a bit of a time consuming process. Um, a quicker way to do that would be to, if I tap up the top here um, and go to frames viewer, then I can see all of my frames uh, in one kind of um, table. If I tap and hold one of those frames, any one doesn't matter because they're all the same at this stage, I've now selected it. Um, and then you can see down the bottom there, we've got those same kind of icons. So I'm gonna tap the copy icon, which is the um, fifth one along. And then I can just paste right and go bang, 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 bang. So I'm probably going to want about 20 frames. Um, we need enough to go over the, the speech that we've recorded. So when I'm happy with that, I'll hit the cross up the top. I'll go back to my animation. Hello there. You can see I don't have enough, right? So this, this you see the speech there goes up to 27 frames. So I need to go back into my frames viewer and add a few more. All right, let's go to... 30, so we've got a couple of frames after um, this character's done talking. Okay, so now we should have... Hello there. Hello there. All right, so we've got the frames that cover the speech, but clearly at this stage, they're not animated. So that's what we're gonna start doing now. So let's start yeah. with, the, um, with the lip sync. So in order to lip sync, um, first of all, you need to kind of think about how the human mouth moves when it talks. Um, and I'll just put a chart up on the screen at the moment. You can see what that looks like, but you can also just kind of think about how your mouth moves when you're talking, um, the kind of the shape that your mouth makes. And that's what we need to replicate when we're lip syncing. So what I want to do is move, move my film to where I start to say hello there, right? And you can see that that starts to happen at about frame 10, right? I can, I can see just the, the little wave pattern down the bottom of the screen there. I can also see in that wave pattern, there's a little dip there in between words. So I know that hello is going to go from frame 10 to about frame 18. And then there is going to go from 19 and it finishes there about uh, frame 24. So that's what I need to start yeah, with now. So before that happens though, um, he's just gonna have a plain mouth. So I can just use my pen tool to just create a just a, a nice smile on this guy's mouth. Um, and we wanna copy that smile all the way up until frame 10 when he starts talking. So if you wanna copy and paste just a small part of your animation, uh, you can use the lasso tool, um, select the part that you want to copy, um, up the top of the screen there, you can see that there's a little copy and a little paste icon. So we're gonna hit that copy icon and we're gonna to go to the next frame and we're gonna paste it and the next frame and paste it 
and so on all the way up until frame 9 because we're going to start talking at frame 10. All right, so at frame 9, we're going to start to move his mouth into huh, a huh sound. So if you do that with your mouth, huh, you can see you kind of purse your lips and your mouth kind of becomes an O shape. Um, so before we get to that frame 10 where he starts talking, we just need to start to move that mouth, make it a little bit smaller and start to kind of come together into a bit more of an O shape. All right, so when he starts talking on frame 10, huh, huh, his mouth is going to be start to open. Huh. Uh, and if you, see, if you do that with your mouth as well, you'll, you'll see that your mouth opens with your kind of your teeth bared. So I can just use a paint bucket tool, um, grab some white, and I'm going to color that in and then go and grab my pen tool to like... Draw the space in between the teeth. Huh. Help. Right, so then it's, we're going to go huh, and then the next frame is going to be, we're going to be moving into an ah, uh, and if you do that with your own mouth, ah, uh, you can see that your mouth becomes, it's kind of a similar shape, but more of like a smile to it. So I might just copy and paste that mouth shape to the next one. I might even just kind of start to spread it out again a little bit and then we're going to start to move into more of that the smile like a, a shape. You can see there by we got ha, ha, and then by 13, we're moving into an L shape. So if you do that with you, if you form your mouth into an L shape, what you'll find is that you're kind of, you're, L, your, your mouth is still open, your teeth are still showing, but your tongue's kind of up against the roof of your mouth. So again, it's not that different a shape, um, but it's more probably, it's more of an oval than a smile. So I'm just going to do that now. And that low is going to become a low when the low kind of extends for the next few frames. So I'm just going to copy and paste that that frame 13 there, where he's doing an L hole into 14, and then we're going to kind of narrow that down into an O shape. And and like I said before, that the we're going to do that up until about frame 18. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste that and I'm just going to move that and it's going to start to come become a little bit smaller. Until it's just until we just end up with a with a kind of like a smaller circle where where his lips are kind of pursed in, in a low shape. So I can just copy that one and paste it into the next one. The next one. And then more. There. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. All right, so that doesn't look too bad for hello. Um, I'm going to follow the same process for there. I'm going to stop the video now and, and, and come back after I'm finished. Um, just things to keep in mind too. If you think about there, if you make the word there with your mouth, You'll notice that you kind of poke your tongue in between your teeth. So that's something that you need, you're need. you going to need to draw when you're animating like a TH sound there. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like after I'm done. Okay, so there is my completed lip sync and I'll just play it back. Hello there. Hello there. I think it looks pretty good. Um, if you have a look, there's, there's the tongue broken out for the there. Um, and you'll just notice that when I've finished, I've just gradually gone back into a smile.
All right, so it kind of, and that's just a copy. Hello there. Copy and paste of the smile from the start. So what we're going to do now is to kind of give our character a bit more life is we're going to make his head move when he talks. All right, so we're going to start at frame 10 um, and make sure that we've got the head layer selected. And then we're going to use our lasso tool to just trace around that head. All right, and then we will just use that little dot at the top of that um, that frame that pops up there. Might need to minimize it a little bit so I can grab it, just to kind of tilt that head just a teensy bit. So I'm just trying to kind of, I'm looking at the hair on the top of his head and I'm just kind of just moving that back just a little bit. All right, um, and then we'll go to the next frame and we'll do the same thing, but this time a bit more. Right, just gradually, the, the smaller the movements, the smoother it'll be. A little bit more. If you need to move the head across, you can. All right, so I'm just gonna do that um, just and while he's saying hello, and then um, when we get to there, I'll start to move it back again. Hello there. Hello there. All right. So Hello there. Nice floor. Hello movement. there. You can see there. Hello in, there. In one of those frames, I've managed to chop his ear off a little bit. So just be careful when you kind of when you're tracing around it that you, when you grab things that you're not that you're grabbing the whole thing. Just fix that up like that. All right, it's not gonna be too noticeable. Hello there. Okay, um, and the last thing we want to do is move our arm. So we're going to do that in the arm layer and we're going to make him do a little bit of a wave. But so what we're going to do here is we only want the wave to pop up. Um, sorry, that bit of ear is really bothering me. We only want the wave to pop up while he's saying hello there. So we're going to start without the arm in the frame and that's gonna gradually pop up. So we want, we want it to come up when it starts. So as he's talking, the arm should be in the frame. All right, so we want, so from about frame nine, we want it to be in there, but we want the, we want the arm to kind of pop up pretty quickly. All right, so we will start to do that probably about frame six or frame seven. So if, up until frame six, let me make sure we're in the arm layer. We'll select the arm. And we'll just chuck that out of the frame. Same thing goes for frame two. So frame six, we're going to just start to pop, pop the hand up. All right, all right. Frame seven will bring it up a little bit higher. It can be pretty quick. All right, and we can just kind of, I'm just going to stretch it out a bit, just so we get a little bit of kind of like a forced perspective of the hand coming towards the camera. Right, and it's gonna come up pretty quick. So we can make those movements um, pretty um, far apart, all right? We're trying to make it look like, you know, that part of the arm still attached to the back part of the arm. So by frame nine, um, we have it up full, full height, all right? And then when from frame 10, he's gonna kind of do a wave and then his arm's gonna drop out. So from this frame on, we're going to do the same thing as we did with the head, but we're gonna kind of start to angle it. So it starts to, you know, kind of angle off the edge of the frame. And again, this can be pretty quick as well. All right, it's a nice quick movement. When you wave your hand, you, you do it pretty quick. We can start to just bring it down a little bit now because it's going to kind of flop out of the frame. All right, 
right? And then from that point on, just get rid of it. All right, and then with any luck. Hello there. Hello there. So I've made that. Hello point. there. Uh, you, you could slow it down a little bit if you want, or you could have the hand waving back and forth a couple of times. It's up to you. But there you go. That's that's just a nice little introduction to creating a character um, using frames, copying and pasting, um, and just some basic animation.